When a man's servant, she'll play the cur with him. Uh, look, you. Uh, it goes hard. <coughs> ah, well, one that I brought up of a puppy. One that I saved from droning when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. Oh, I've taught him. Even, as one would say, precisely thus, I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him, as a present to Mistress Sylvia, from my master, and had not but come in the dining chamber, but he steps me to her trencher and steals her cape one's leg. More as a foul thing when a cur cannot keep himself in all companies. I would have, as one should say, a one that takes upon himself to be a dog indeed. To be, as it were, a dog in all things. If I'd not had more wit than he to take a fault upon me that he did, I think verily he had hanged for it. Uh, hanged. Sure as I live, I'd have suffered for it. But you shall judge. He thrust me himself into the company of three or four gentlemen, like dogs, under the Duke's table. And he'd not been there, bless the mark, a pissing while, but all the chamber smelled him. And uh, out with the dog, says one. What cur is that, says another. Uh, string him up, whip him out, hang him up, says the Duke. Now I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew it was crab. And goes me to the fella that whips the dogs. Friend, quoth I, uh, do you mean to whip the dog? Marry do I, quoth he. You do him the more wrong, quoth I. Twas, uh, twas me did the thing that you, what of will he, makes me no more ado, but whips me out of the chamber. Mm. How many, how many masters would do this for his servant, eh? <sighs> Nay, I'll be sworn. I've sat in the stocks for puddings he hath stolen, otherwise he'd been executed. <laughs> executed. I've stood in the pillory for geese he hath killed, otherwise he had suffered for it. Oh, nay, thou thinkest not of this, no. I remember the trick thou didst serve me when I took my leave of Mistress Sylvia. Did I not bid thee to mark me still and do as I do? Hmm? At when didst thou see me heave up my leg and make water against a gentlewoman's farthingale? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? <laughs>